guys doing? Oh, okay, then I should stop that. Afternoon, how you doing? I know there have been some concerns about Penelope, basically, and also Jessica. So um, I can tell you that we're dealing with it. We've been working with Altamont Springs Police Department, State Attorney's Office, all of the agencies that are involved, whose main goal, I think, is just to make sure that everybody's okay and to sort of get that documented. So I know initially there was a concern, uh, rumors or whatever it was, about whether or not they were even still around or alive. Obviously, we addressed and resolved that as soon as I um, was contacted by the family. Uh, the easiest way to do that was exactly the way we did it, which was to get some pictures of Penelope and Jessica, so the date on it, of course, and that they were okay. So I know that that helped law enforcement a lot, which was our main purpose. They were spending some resources, because as you know, law enforcement has to look into concerns like this, and we didn't want them spending unnecessarily any resources that they have or putting any law enforcement at risk doing what they thought they had to do, which you know included searching and they were doing some lake searches and whatnot. So we want to get that stopped right away and just sort of calm things down, which I think is what we've done. Um, law enforcement, I think, was very happy that we were able to get that accomplished and, and calm things down. Uh, next step, of course, is to make sure that Penelope is okay, and we're working on that right now, and working with, uh, again, all the powers that be, including Altamont Springs and the Sheriff's Office and <coughs> Child Protection and everybody else, just to sort of address it. So, in effect, it's a work in progress. I think we've got things on track now, um, and hopefully we'll just have some time to continue working it through. So, that's sort of where things are. How is she doing? How did she? How did you find her? Did she come to you? We want sure. to know the whole scenario there. If you can tell us. Well, I, I was contacted by the family because of everything that was happening, and they needed some help. And for those who have seen, you know, a few months back, I represented that woman whose baby was taken away from her at 12 days of age because she dared to give the baby soy milk instead of what they wanted to give him which is still a very huge frustration mom with the way DCF handles small children sometimes. So I think they probably had seen that and decided to call me because they know I had some experience and we worked through it. You know, the problem with these cases is when everyone goes to the corners of the sandbox and don't talk, things get worse. And so I just want to start the conversation with law enforcement and get it resolved. Have you actually laid eyes on Jessica and the baby? No, the pictures. I, I, no, I have not. Are you confident that those are legit? Absolutely. I think law enforcement seems confident as well. I mean, we know who she is and what she looks like. We know what Penelope is and what she looks like. The date was an idea just to document the date of the photograph. Um, so no, I don't think I don't think they have any concerns that those are not actual photographs taken yesterday. How is she making sure she's healthy? I'm sorry? What will happen with the baby? Uh, no, I don't, I don't believe there's any reason for anyone to get involved with caring for, the, for Penelope except for the parents. And if there are some concerns that are addressed, uh, we'll deal with them. But uh, no, I, I think that, you know, certainly some issues have come to mind that now are on the table and we're going to help address them and resolve them. How is she and the baby? I, I really wouldn't kind of get into locations or whatever. They're, they're healthy, as is documented by the pictures, and now we're going to document it however else we can working with law enforcement. After the visit with Child Protective Services, why did Jessica leave the house with the baby? Well, maybe she did hear about the story I just told you about with a 12-day-old baby being taken from a mom. I think most moms believe that they and only they can care for their children and that when anybody else, particularly when DCF, who we all know has some very legitimate concerns over their ability to properly care for children, when DCF gets into the picture, sometimes people get worried. And I think her response to that worry was that she knows she could take care of Penelope. She wasn't too uh, convinced that anybody else, particularly DCF, could. Have you talked to her on the phone or the phone or the over with them right now? Are they together as a family, wherever that no. is? No, no. Does he I, know I think that, okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand from all the helicopters that seem to be following him around that they know where he is and that he's local. Are they still a couple? Um, yeah, I, I don't know anything different than that, certainly. So why yes. did he hide his, their whereabouts? I think his concern was the same as mom's. If, if you come to my doorstep, 
If ASPCA comes to my doorstep right now and tries to take my dog, who happens to be at the office, I may not open the door because I know I can take care of him better. Well, that may have been their initial response to the onslaught that they felt they got from um, DCF and those people who came in and said. Now, were some of those concerns legitimate? We'll work through them. Are, is the initial fear being addressed and resolved? Absolutely. Has and been, I, I think we're helping with that. Have you Has baby talked Penelope to them on seen a doctor yet? We're in the process of um, a medical examination as we speak. Is she right only now? 12 pounds at seven months old? I, I really have no idea. So I could make believe that I know, but realistically, we're going to have some of that information available, you know, for law enforcement. And those are the people who are interested right now, who have what they believe to be a statutory requirement to look into it, and we're going to assist them to the extent that we can. And what we really want to do is work collaboratively to make this a non-problem, and it sort of is blown up on its own in the past few days. Can you say why uh, the mother never took the child to see any type of medical physician or anything? I think those are personal and religious decisions. I don't know them that well. Of course, my time has been a little bit limited and focused on the trauma, you know, the, the event right now. But my understanding is that they have religious concerns with things like vaccination. Um, and I'm sure that at the right time they will address those and hopefully in a way that will make people convinced. There's a large percentage of the population growing every day of people who are very worried about vaccinations and but they I think that's going to be addressed. But they were concerned about raising a child in a marijuana grow house? Well, it seems as though that was a concern. I, I would presume that they would say that they kept the child away, but I don't want to presume more than I know. Mark, Mark have, have you even talked to them on the Altamont telephone Spring? at all? Have they at all worked to deal with you when it comes to David? Because, you know, two days ago they thought it was possible that he did something bad to them. Are you working with them for some kind of deal? I, I think, one? yeah, I think the only thing with law enforcement is they want information. And, and so that's what we've given them. There's no deal. I'm not attending to, haven't filed a notice of appearance on the criminal case that I think is pending at all. What I'm dealing with right now is helping the family through a bad situation to try and calm everyone down and deal with this as best we can. There's no deals. The only deal or conversation with law enforcement is how do we get this thing back under control in a way that protects Penelope, that I think primary concern, and gets these concerns addressed and resolved. That's all it seems to me that law enforcement has ever wanted, and I know that's all the family wants. And then you'll address David's charges? Um, we'll see. I, I'll be honest with you. I've only been brought into hand until this one issue right now. So the criminal charges down the road, we'll see what happens with them. I've, not been retained for that. Quite honestly, haven't even discussed that with them because what's on the table is Penelope. Did Mark, the drug charges concern you at this point? I know you said you haven't seen any pictures. I mean, you haven't seen them in person, only through pictures. Have you talked on the phone, text, anything to collaborate, any kind of communication with Penelope and the baby yes. or relatives? Tell me about that. I've spoken um, to Jessica and she seems in good spirits, concerned as she is, but I don't have any concerned for her well-being. I didn't talk to Penelope, but I'm not sure she's talking yet. But it seems from the pictures that she is in good spirits, as best I can tell, just like the rest of you can. Did she tell you at all that she may take the baby to the doctor or not? I know that she said there are some religious concerns, but there was also malnourishment concerns on the part of FDLE as well as the Alphonse Springs Police Department. I, may think the, see the doctor? I think the family understands that, unfortunately, they're in a situation where they have to compromise some of their belief systems. Um, if you're not in DCF's crosshairs, maybe you can act a certainly different way now that they are. I think they realize that they're gonna to have to do a little bit of compromising and one immediate compromise is getting a medical documentation of the health of Penelope. And if there are you know, if situations are identified, concerns are identified, I know that you said there was a concern over low weight, um, we'll address it. I mean, whatever that needs to be to make sure that Penelope is healthy, they'll deal with it. And would she physically take herself to Altamont Springs Police so they could see her for themselves? We're talking as to how to best resolve and address the issue. I think law enforcement want to have some eyes on a child, as anyone would, and they have an obligation to make sure of that. Um, and, I, and I think what we're going to try and do is work out a way to address that concern while still maintaining some good privacy concerns that the family still has. How do you know that the drugs that were in the house are going to affect the situation overall? Well, they, we all know that they do. I mean, he now has a felony charge pending, I believe. Um, and there was at least the evidence or argument that there was 
what is still an illegal drug in Florida in the house where a child was. We who do this business a lot know that that's a concern that's going to have to be addressed. Normally the way it's addressed with, is a plan is to make sure that the house is drug free. And I'm sure that whatever people are going to want to resolve this case, that's going to be part of it. And I know the family will address and resolve it. Any concerns that you have facing the charges? Did, when your conversation with Jessica, is she worried about being arrested for anything? No, she's really, her focus right now is her child. Uh, and now, because other people are concerned about the child, is addressing those concerns in a way that makes certain that she is going to be the primary caregiver for her child, which is what she really wants. When did she make that at the house with the baby? You know, I don't. I got involved in the case about 30 hours ago, and I really dealt with the trauma that we were dealing with then. So I don't have a lot of the history. I'm sorry. I just don't know. Why did both of them leave if they were concerned about child services coming back? Um, well, if the child wasn't there, maybe David didn't feel as much of a need. But I'm so completely speculating. House. I have no idea. All I know is that, as I mentioned before, I think what happened was the mom, like I think any mom, and I say that sincerely, if you know you get into that maternal instinct where if you think someone's going to harm your child, the harm may not even be real. It may just be worried. But if you feel harm coming to your child, even if it comes from someone who says they're not intending to, like DCF, knowing some of the stories about DCF, then maybe you react in a way to protect your child as you see fit, though other people may not seem that that's an appropriate reaction. It seems as though she did. And now that she's been told she needs to document the health and well-being of a child, what does she do? She gets us pictures. That's what I asked her. That's great. Um, I told her that I think that she needs to get medical clearance, if you will, of the child. And that's what she's doing. Uh, I think that she's reacting pretty appropriately to what you know she's being asked under an extraordinarily traumatic and difficult circumstance. Any family in Ohio, Tennessee, or Texas who contacted you? Can't say. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be coy with it. I was contacted to try and help out. That's what I'm doing. You understand some of the confidentiality of lawyers and clients, and that's. I'm going to maintain that. I, you know, I'm telling you what they said that I can talk about. Any concerns that because of the drugs, David might not be allowed near his child? Has anything like that been discussed? It, just my general knowledge of these cases, that doesn't normally happen, that parents who are charged with pot possession are kept from their kids. We'll see. I don't think that's a condition of his release right now, I don't believe. Um, so we'll see. I do know that in most cases where there's government involvement, which we want to minimize, yeah, they, they try and... and add on some conditions to document that you are staying um, drug free. We'll see how it goes. You mentioned the belief system and, and having religious concerns about medical care, but what about them not having a birth certificate for the child or possibly not registering for a social security card for the child? Does that play into it? I have to let them answer it because again, with 30 hours in, I'm focusing on a lot of other things besides a lot of these sort of ancient history as to how we got here. I'm just trying to address it. Did Jessica share with you any conditions that she may have if she were to come back, or any concerns that she may have if she were to come back here if she's not here already? Well, I would tell you that the family is very concerned that there is an overreaction to their actions. And if that overreaction is going to include some attempt to take the child away, then we're going to resist that as strongly as we can. But if we can work collaboratively together with uh, Altamont Springs, as we have been, by the way, for the past 30 hours, I really appreciate their willingness to talk to me and to listen to me as well, then I think we'll work through it. I do not think that this child, from what I can tell, needs to be taken from mom. And I presume that we can convince everybody who needs to be convinced that I'm right. But are they happy, are they satisfied with the photos alone? No, I, no, 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 I think that was a great first step. I think that addressed the concern and I think the concern was, was going away, but if there was a concern that they were alive or not, that was the immediate concern, I addressed it. I also had the photographs you know, that showed that they were also healthy. Um, so that's the first step. There are a few more steps for us to you know, keep working together on. Did he ever tell you why the family was cooperating with I think, again, it was the, an, an, a reaction. Some might call it an overreaction. 
to when DCF involves themselves. Um, if, if DCF involves themselves in your life, I, I think people who have heard some of the stories might overreact to that. And I will tell you, I might. You think you should have said that? Um, I think we probably wouldn't have gotten to this point. But I will tell you, you know, again, it's of the moment, you know, if there are cops there and you think that they may take your child or you don't know, you know, maybe you do things that in retrospect you might have done differently. I'm sorry? Do you know if she's forced to be in that relationship? If she's forced? Um, I don't, I don't, I really don't want to answer stuff I don't know, but I will tell you that in my brief conversations with her, that was the opposite was true. Now, I think she's very happy with everything that was going on in her life before this. But again, I, I don't have a lot of history on it. There Mark, are a few more steps police today. What are some of the steps that you can include, you can tell us? What happens next? Well, you know, I think a medical test, you know, a, a quick evaluation is a great idea. And I think then the family is of, of the same opinion. And then we'll sort of see what steps are necessary after that. I do think that um, law enforcement has said to me that they would like to get some eyes on the child at some point. And we're working towards getting that figured out and how we can do it. You know, I want to I compromise the state's position in making sure the child is okay. And by the way, not going past that. They get to say the child is okay. We, they then get to get out of the child's life as quickly as they should. Uh, balance that with the parents' undeniable and unalienable right to parent their child the way they see fit. And you know, now that we're sort of in the light of public review, we have to be a bit more careful than if you were just doing it in your own living room. And we'll get it figured out though. I'm very confident that the steps that we've made with law enforcement in the past 30 hours will continue. Are you meeting with them today? I've been in contact with them over the phone. I literally just got back in town from out of state. So um, phone conferences are going to probably do it, and we'll get it figured out. But you will not be bringing her to Altamont Springs Police. Um, At least not today. No, I don't anticipate that today, and they haven't even asked for that today. What they want is just steps along the way, and I think the medical examination is the next step that they're talking about and we're trying to comply with. But are they still here in Florida? Um, I, I'm sort of in ongoing contact, you know, trying to get some stuff done. Who is she Are they with? still in Florida? We're really not going to talk about the location. It's just they're allowed that privacy. There's no order demanding anything um, that's of record right now or anything that we need to worry about. So we're just going to, we're working together. We really are. And I think if you uh, talk to law enforcement, they'd probably say the same thing, that we really are working together and trying to get this. We want to take some of the pressure off. Right now, people act badly under stress, so we're trying to take the stress down. Are they staying with family or friends right now, Is the mother or daughter? Uh, you know, I don't even know. Are I don't they know. concerned they could be in trouble for jeopardizing the case by not revealing their whereabouts and obstruction? I'm, I'm going to re rely on their legal team to cover them on that. Had Child Protective Services and police not stepped in, do you feel that baby Penny would have been okay? my opinion alone, I have no idea. I, I don't know the case well enough. Um, I, I have seen pictures no different than what you have seen. And I don't know anything about a medical. I'll know that soon and we'll see. I don't know. Thank you, Mark. Okay, sure thing. Appreciate the time. You guys take care. Have a great weekend. Mark, will you update us if she does get checked out? Even just to say, okay, she's checked out. Just like the laundry provider is doing that, right? But you can at least say, look, doctor,